Let's check out what's new in iOS 13.2 Beta 2. Hey everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider, and Apple is at it again with the latest beta of iOS 13.2. It's bringing several new features and changes, and we're gonna walk through them right now. Starting out on the home screen, whenever you use 3D Touch or Haptic Touch to access the contextual menu on app icons, Apple has changed the wording to read Edit Home Screen. It makes a little bit more sense and easier to understand. Also from here, you can now delete apps directly, so you don't have to go into edit mode or jiggle mode and then delete an app. You can do it right from that 3D Touch or Haptic Touch contextual menu. This beta contains many new emoji. There are a ton of them in here. You can go through the entire list. We'll include in the article at the link in the description, but there are a few we want to point out, including like the new orangutan or otter. There's just a bunch of them in here, so be sure to check out the full list. You can see all of the new emoji that are coming this time around. There's also a new emoji picker. So if you go into a couple or an emoji that has two or more people or so in it, you can now choose the skin tone for each person in that emoji. It's very nice, very inclusive, really well done. One of the big changes is Apple's finally implementing the new Siri control policy for accessing shared recordings. So whenever you access something with Siri, before Apple was listening to a tiny portion of those with contractors to verify that Siri is working correctly. Apple removed that, they completely stopped that program and going forward, now users have to opt in. So after performing this update, there's a new splash screen that explains all these details for you and asks if you want to help make Siri better by submitting your recordings anytime that you access Siri. So it's only when you access Siri and these uh, recordings are shared with Apple for them to review and help improve Siri's accuracy. You can now opt into that and if you don't do it right from the splash screen, you can do it from settings by heading into privacy and then down there for Siri. So you can opt in there as well and then if you go into your Siri settings, you can actually delete any of your history that have been uploaded to Apple. So any of your shared recordings that you have in there, if you want to delete any of that, it's very easy to do right from within settings. Thanks to our friend Rambo, there has been a new AirPods leak again in here, referencing the upcoming noise canceling version of AirPods. So from here, you'll actually be able to see this little animation that'll explain for people how to enable or disable the noise canceling features of AirPods. Just a short animation there, kind of teasing those, those still are not official in any way yet. And then lastly, you can now change the resolution and the frame rate when recording a video. So if you head into the camera app and switch into video mode, in the top right hand corner there is now, you can see the resolution, so HD and 30. You can change the frame rate and the resolution to what you'd like it to be without having to jump into the settings app. There's been a big complaint of Apple's camera app that you cannot change settings like that from here. So it's nice that they're kind of loosening up on that. It's great for filmographers who are shooting a lot of video on their iPhone. So what do you guys think? Those are the changes we've spotted so far, but this is no, by no means an exhaustive list of changes. So if you find anything else, be sure to let us know down below in the comments. Check out our video on beta one to see what else is coming in iOS 13.2. And let me know if you find anything on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.